Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do the demo and review for the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. All right, so the color I chose was 185. I have no idea if this is going to match, so bear with me, but I did want to test this foundation. Um, I've tested other Fenty, uh, the liquid foundation when it first came out and I hated it. Um, it made me look super orange more than any foundation I've ever tried ever. So didn't like it, but um, I have high hopes for this one. The component looks like this. It's absolutely beautiful. It's this cute little like a hexagon type of a shape. The powder is inside, also hexagon shape. And in the bottom, it comes with a hexagon sponge. Um, the little details about this is it is a 9.1 grams and it is $36. So I already have on my concealer. Everybody wants to know which concealer I'm using lately. It's the Cover Effects Power Play in Medium 1. Uh, so that's what I have just under my eyes. I do have some breakouts and discoloration on my face. Um, it happens. So I'm going to start with my Bare Minerals uh, Flat Top Brush. This is their pre Precision Face Brush. And I'm going to go right into the powder and just kind of see if it works better with a brush or a sponge. So. Pretty typical with the powder foundation that the brush isn't doing a whole heck of a lot. Um, I'm going to go in with that sponge and make this happen, okay? The color is looking okay. It's not terrible. It definitely looks maybe... Um, a little light, but I have noticed that Fenty foundation tends to like darken up over the day. It doesn't look bad with my neck, so I'm actually pretty happy with that for now. Also, too, we're in the middle of winter, so my skin is uh, pretty much at its lightest stage. I'm gonna just keep going till I'm happy with the coverage. The coverage so far is okay. It's not like mind blowing, but it's decent, uh, light to medium, I would say. Has a nice feel and texture to the powder. Feels kind of soft and velvety on the skin. Super lightweight. I'm happy um, with that coverage right there. YouTube, I am back. Uh, and we are here to talk about the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Um, I have it on right now. I do think the color actually works, even though I feel like it's a little light. I could have bronzed it up maybe a little more, but I don't want to go too crazy. I mean, it is the middle of winter, so me actually having a tan is not likely. Um, but with that being said, let's talk about this powder. Let's compare it to a couple of my other powders just for uh, reference, just because I like to do that. Okay, so the Fenty powder I think actually looks pretty good. I did spray it. It is catching a little bit where I have a little bit of scabs. Uh, still from breakouts, but for the most part, it actually looks pretty good. I like it. I'm happy with it. I feel like this color is a good choice. Um, I think if I go a little darker, I'm pretty sure it's going to be too dark. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. So, you know, when you're guessing and you have no clue what these look like in person, um, it is difficult to pick a color, even for experts. I will say Fenty is known for all of their colors darkening. So we'll see if in, 
um, you know, six to eight hours if this looks darker and it is my perfect shade. We'll find out though. Um, I have worn this powder one other time and I did get a decent amount of wear out of it. I'd say six to eight hours and it started looking shiny and starting to fall apart, which is pretty standard for most powder foundations. So I think that's comparable. For $36 at nine grams, it's right on target with um, the Bare Minerals Pro Foundation. This is 10 grams and I believe it's $32. So it's right on trend with uh, powder foundation and powder foundation prices. Um, the price is, I believe, less expensive than the, um, the Stay Naked by Urban Decay. And that is only six grams. It's less expensive than the Velvet Matte Skin for Makeup Forever, but that is 11 grams. Um, Cover Effects has 12 grams, and I think that's a little more money as well. So it is comparable. I feel like the value is there. That makes sense. I like the powder. It looks good. It's holding up okay. Lip color, I know I'm going to get questions. Um, I've been doing a lot of stains lately just because we're wearing masks all the time, and it's irritating to get your lipstick all over your mask. Um, but this is from Clarence. This is their uh, water lip stain. This is the color um, Red Water. I like it a lot. It does look more strawberry on me than like a true red. I think if I kept adding layers, it would. This is just one layer and I love it. This is $28. So if you guys are ever looking for a good lip stain, these are amazing. I have them in several different colors and I love them. All right, back to the Fenty Foundation. Um, I think it's worth it, actually. I think for 36 bucks, you can't go wrong. If I like that she has lots of different colors, so there's a color for everyone, so hopefully you can find a match. I definitely think it's a good product. It looks pretty good on my skin, and it's holding up. It's doing a lot better than a lot of other high-end foundation powders, so I will give it a yes. Um, it is one that I think is worth it, and you should definitely try it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure down in the comments box below you guys add what you want to see next. I'd love to do that for you. As always, I post a new video every Tuesday. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. In the description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts and my Etsy account if you'd like to support my crafty adventures. And I'll see you guys on the next one.